And the big story at five, violence at a Prince George's County High School, fights breaking out and students catching it all on their cell phones. Fox 5 7 Maria is joining us tonight from the newsroom with the latest stuff. And Marina, we're talking about the Prince George's County Public School System confirming 10 fights in just one school in one day alone. It happened yesterday at Charles H. Flowers High School in Springdale. Look at this disturbing video posted to one social media account called Flowers Rampage. And as I watch videos, um, like someone just sent me a link, they're fighting outside in the parking lot where the school buses are. Like, where's leadership? Where's security? Where's security? Where's PG cops at? You just heard from a concerned parent there who is asking not to be identified. This parent and other parents telling Fox 5 they are being told by their children some of these fights started among kids from different neighborhoods and over little things like stepping on a shoe and that some flower students were allegedly letting other students in from other schools. A robocall apparently said no students were injured, but parents say otherwise. Multiple parents are calling for PGCPS, Prince George's County Public Schools, to be transparent on what is going on in their school and why their principal, Dr. Gorman Brown, has not returned yet. This is all stemming from him not being up in the building and the lack of leadership. Like the leaders that are in the building right now, apparently they're not doing what they're supposed to do because it's too many fights, it's too many things going on in the school building that weren't, wasn't going on when Dr. Brown was there. Fox 5 previously reported Flowers High School principal Dr. Brown was placed on administrative leave this past October with no indication why. The current lead administrator did write to families today saying, while we understand that conflicts may arise, we must emphasize the importance of resolving disputes through constructive means. We believe in fostering a positive and respectful school environment and such behaviors will not be tolerated, nor are they reflective of the values we aim to instill in our students. The statement goes on there, guys, but the superintendent did tell a parent that their team was on site addressing con uh, security concerns today, and they did come up with a plan to better deploy staff throughout the school, guys.